It is set to open later this year and will be one of the retail's giant's northeast hubs. Now, they say more than 1,000 people will be working inside and a lot of robots, yeah. too. Gabrielle Caracciolo got a hard hat tour. There's about 850,000 packages are supposed to leave this facility a day. Inside the new Amazon Fulfillment Center in Johnston. It's incredibly uh, impressive to uh, see. People and robots are working side by side, preparing to start packaging. Most of the work is done in the building. We are projected to launch in time for the holiday season this year. They've been under construction since 2021, originally supposed to open last summer. We did battle some inflationary and supply chain headwinds. Everything inside will be sortable, smaller objects like books, electronics and toys. The entire facility spans nearly 4 million square feet. That's the size of about 66 football fields, and there'll be about 1,500 employees working inside. We've had Amazon Robotics in buildings now for more than 10 years. During that same time, we've hired hundreds of thousands of people across the country and, across, and around the world. So these robots really do work in concert with employees, not replacing them. This is one of the spots where Amazon employees will work in conjunction with robots. When you go online and order something, one of the robots will bring these yellow containers up to this docking station where the employees can then pick out your product and get it ready to head to your door. So the robots are controlled by QR codes. So the, that's how they read where they're going. They never bump into each other. It takes a while to plant these seeds and see them grow. But this is a strategy that we're using all around the state of Rhode Island right now, where we're putting people to work at good paying jobs, building things, and then the things that they build will pay off for decades. In Johnston, Gabrielle Caracciolo, NBC 10 News. Great, more robots than people, didn't it? All right, well, this is interesting. Not at that tour today. The mayor are other elected officials from Johnston. Why? Mayor Joseph Policina Jr. says they weren't allowed to attend. In a statement, Policina says, quote, even though Johnston repeatedly stands up to the governor, I'm sure it's just a coincidence that neither myself or any other Johnston elected officials could attend today. They hope to tour it soon. 